Solid Edge 2D Drafting is production proven 2D CAD software for free. Yes, you heard that right, for free. It has everything you'd expect, such as model and paper space you may already be familiar with, easy to use tools that comply to a whole host of drafting standards including ITO, ANSI, BSI, DIN, plus additional capabilities such as Goal Seek to simplify geometric problem solving. And did I mention it's free? Let's take a look. Here we have an existing .dwg file from AutoCAD of a wheel hub that I'd like to complete. To bring it in, we can use an easy to use step by step wizard. This lets us preview the drawing, including each individual layer, and we don't have to stick with a black background. Then there's control of things like drawing size, mapping AutoCAD model space to solid edge, line type mapping, colour mapping, font mapping, hatch mapping, so lots of control to look after your existing drawings. Alternatively, we can just cancel out of that and use Solid Edge's out-of-the-box settings for ease of use. That's what we've done here and what a good job it does. Here it is, including all of those layers which we have control of on the left-hand side. All of the sketching tools that you need are here, be it lines, circles, arcs, trim, extend. And of course things like line colour, style, thickness can be altered on the fly. I noticed as we sketch, Solid Edge helps us line up our entities before we put pencil to paper, well, line to screen. To access any of these tools, the easiest way as a first time user is to type in what you want in this box at the bottom right and Solid Edge will simply find it for you. However, tools are available at any time in a recognisable ribbon toolbar at the top. We have this hidden at the moment to maximise our working area. If you're a fan of keyboard customization, that's also an option. To become more efficient though, we can put favorite tools on this radial menu so they're right next to our cursor on demand. That's what we've been using so far and we'll continue to do so to grab the centerline tool. We need to complete dimensioning this view. Now you can get your annotations dimensions just so with lots of commands and options at your fingertips, but at the same time, there are quick and easy tools such as smart dimension and this means we can simply click on existing entities and a dimension is created between them, and to standard of course. Once finished, you can either stick with a solid edge file format or save back out to .dwg format. Simple and free. I did mention that, right? Free. Free to download, now, anywhere in the world. Oh, and you get free updates and free online support. So why are you still watching this? Go and download it now.